Hello everyone, we are in our next location, which is a very hard name for me to say, so I will put it on screen, but basically we're down south, right on the border of Austria. We actually drove through Austria, maybe by accident, um, to get here, but it is like a beautiful mountain. We're surrounded by mountains. Um, it's all hiking. There's like a little town that looks like the town from Beauty and the Beast, and I need to do just a little Airbnb tour for you. So it's like a hotel, there are like multiple rooms and a bunch of guests can stay at the same time. But I just need to show you how beautiful it is. So I'm gonna turn you around. All right, so this is our balcony. Well, it's not our balcony, it's like every guest can use it. But look at all of these mountains. They have snow on the top. I don't know if you can see, probably not, it's very bright. So this is the first balcony. Then I will take you inside, Oh, sorry. There's the hallway with the most beautiful art. And then go here, beers. And then the kitchen, which is probably my favorite part other than the views. But I mean, this little bench and table alone. And then a really nice kitchen. Actually, we might cook. We haven't really. And then. View from the window out there. And then there's actually a laundry machine in there, which is very helpful. And then take it into our room. So yeah, I've got other guests can say, but this is our room. Beautiful vanity. Beautiful Marco. Oh wait, look at the sink. It's a rock. This is the best part. Okay. Okay, and then the last balcony view is the best one. Okay, this is our little balcony off of our room. The mountains. It's truly a dream, this place. So we're actually gonna go and do something now, but I just have to show you how beautiful it is. the Airbnb we just went down it's like a 15 20 minute walk down into like the inner city it is beautiful it's like a fairy tale and the whole town is getting ready for Christmas so there's all of these like little Christmassy huts with all different Christmas foods and like mulled wine and you could tell they're all setting up I think we will probably miss it by a few days so that's disappointing but it's just so beautiful but I have to show you my view from right now I'm on the balcony and you just have to see like all the snow on the peaks I mean it's just oh look at the moon it's one of the most beautiful places I've probably ever been in my life it's crazy it just feels like another world and it really is nice being in like I mean I loved Munich but it's such like a busy city and actually is much quieter than most cities I go to I mean I'm used to New York but it was still like you know a busy city and here it's just quiet and peaceful and there's all these cafes and we just went down and sat in like a beer garden an outdoor beer garden for I don't know the past like two and a half three hours because it's just like a dreamy dreamy place so the actual I still don't have the name for you of where we are because I just can't pronounce it, but it's also like, so we're near a national park and we're gonna be hiking that tomorrow. But then what this place is famous for, um, or one of the things it's famous for is having Eagle's Nest, which is, I know I could see it from, okay. So I'm gonna try to show you. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, so that little building up there on the top of the mountain. So that is Eagle's Nest. 
Oh, sorry, I flipped you upside down. So that is Eagle's Nest, and that is, Marco has all of the correct facts. But basically, that was Hitler's, like, cafe, tea, tea room, and it was give, built and given to him as a gift, I forget by who, and then it was used as like a Nazi hideout. Um, so I thought there would be like historical elements to it, but it actually was turn, turned into a restaurant, which is kind of strange, but I guess they wanted to repurpose it and give it like new memories to it, a new life to it, after it had a really vile past. But it actually is closed for all of the like cold season, so it actually, the restaurant itself, closed up a few weeks ago and now it's closed through um, like the rest of the fall and winter. So obviously we're not going to go to the restaurant, but we are going to hike up all the way to like the summit point tomorrow. So that's our first hike and then our second hike will be in the national park. So today's a relaxing day because tomorrow we'll be walking a lot, but it's just, I mean, it's unbelievably beautiful. I just can't even believe it. So we're just having the best time. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed. The car situation was a little bit stressful, but they do make it very dummy proof. They make it easy for you. So it's just beautiful. I could just sit here all day and I'm probably gonna do that. It's only like 4.45 and I think we're in for the night. We got stuff to make for dinner at that beautiful little kitchen and just enjoy the peace and quiet and this breathtaking view. That's the plan. Okay, so we are now in the, I don't even know what it's called, Burstick Garden National Park. It is 7.30 in the morning, and we're starting our four and a half hour hike. Marco picked the length of the hike. There was also a five minute hike, but look at the views. We're like inside of the mountains. It's a little foggy, but it's gonna be clearing up. It's just very cold, but we're excited. And we're gonna get going. Let's do it. Let's do it. Marco wants to give you an update. Go ahead. It's no longer cold. <laughs> it's really tiring. And we're about a quarter of the way through. We are not. Babe, it's four and a half hours. Oh. We're not. So it is unbelievably beautiful. But there has not been, we just got to one flat part, but it's just like this. Steep incline the whole way, but you just have to see like where we are. And then this is why we shouldn't be complaining. Can you see the mountain back there? No, it's like white it out. <laughs> it's white it out. But there's a big ass mountain maybe over here. Can you see that mountain? But it is like untouched nature, which nature. nature. We weren't exaggerating when we said it was cold. There is snow on the ground. So this is the one we're doing. So three and a half hours left. Easy. Easy peasy. Whoa, so we're like in the... Wow, so that actually was snow. Okay, we have reached what we think is the peak of this trail. Marco's actually spotted some goats, <laughs> some mountain goats, and decided to go up and see them, which I think is a bad idea because this is not friendly farms. This is the fucking German mountains, but Whatever. Um. Sustenance. 
Let me show you the view so you can understand. How beautiful this is. It's hard to even do this place justice with video and pictures because I feel like when I take video or picture, you can't tell how massive these mountains are. Like we're totally, see the sun hits there, but we're totally in the shade because this is like a valley. Sorry, I'm chewing. This is like a valley and it really looks like the land before time. If you've ever seen that movie growing up, the dinosaur movie. Oh, here he comes. The man trapezing with the goats. Where, was it goats? It was mountain goats. Are they cute? Or rams. I don't know what the difference between a goat and a ram is, honestly. I, I certainly rams, do. rams, because they had big uh, horns. Did they look menacing or, or friendly? They looked really cute. A mom and a baby. Oh my god, you're not supposed to mess with a mom. Mama fights back. I wouldn't go near the wildlife. just arrived in Swabish Hall, Swabish Hall. It was like a four hour drive from our last location, which really wasn't that bad, but it was pouring rain. But we finally just arrived and our view from our hotel room is to die for. You can probably hear um, the church bells going off. It's very loud, but let me just show you the time, the square. It's... And we don't have a dinner, it's like two or three o'clock right now. We don't have our dinner reservation till like six. So I think we're just gonna walk around and explore. It's beautiful everywhere. Everything is medieval and gothic. And I'm just so, so excited. So we are going to go and walk around. Everything's within walking distance, which is great because we don't wanna be in the car anymore. Rothenberg room tour, quite a stately bed, and they left gummy bears, my favorite. And then, really big room, Marco hiding in the corner, and then a bathroom that is beautiful, but it just has a glass door, which isn't ideal, but a huge bathroom. And we're right next to like the medieval wall. So we are going to go out. And we have a crime and punishment museum tour at two o'clock, but we're gonna go eat first. But it is freaking beautiful. Mm -hmm. 